Teacher talking sports, what it does, what it do, how we live. And during the 2000s, Tracy McGrady was one of the best scorers in the NBA. He won two scoring titles, had one of the most memorable end-of-game performances in NBA history, scoring 13 points in 33 seconds against Bruce Bowen's defense. The San Antonio Spurs, while he's with the Houston Rockets, what an incredible end-of-game performance. Definitely check it out if you've never seen it. Well, he's got... A one-on-one basketball league that made its debut last season uh, should be starting up again next year called the Ones Basketball League. So he spoke to GQ's Harold Beck um, on that. Howard Beck, sorry. And I'm not really going to get into that because they got into some other things that I want to share as well as a comment he made on the Pat Bev podcast. So let's get started with the GQ interview. Now, I just did a video, I don't know, three or four days ago where Tim Hardaway basically said Bull Bull right now is better than Victor Wembenyama. That's one Hall of Famer. Now two Hall of Famers that mention Bull Bull with Victor Wembenyama. So uh, Beck asks, mentions to McGrady uh, because they got into Garnett. Uh, Garnett was basically the original unicorn, the virtual seven-footer who could play everywhere on the court, guard every position, handle the ball, and shoot the forefather of guys like Durant, Giannis. Now we have Victor Wembenyana, Wembenyama, who's maybe the ultimate version. He's new from France. I get it. Clearly doesn't seem too excited. You seem a little skeptical. No, I'm just saying the hype is crazy to me. It's too much, bro. I've seen this before. Y'all act like you haven't seen it that expletive that Bol Bol could do. He's just not given the real opportunity like I think he should. I mean, he's been on two teams, and I do think he's got um, a lot of talent, but he barely played with Denver, uh, was in the rotation and started the well, season well last season for Orlando, but was kind of taken out of the rotation at the end. That kid is skilled. Chris Stapps Porzingis was highly skilled when he first came out just like that. And hell, he's seven foot three too, so I've seen it. Now, Porzingis was hype, but not to the level of Wembenyama. The hype is just crazy, but I get it. It's the media. They're looking for a face for the NBA, and you got to have a new start you want to build around. Braun is about to be on his way out. Steph and those guys... I get it. So uh, he also talks about James Harden. Uh, let's get into that. So he, first he talks about Dame, understanding that they need to get an all-star caliber player back for him. And I don't understand for the life of me what James Harden is doing. Why are you trying to get out? He's demanding demanded a trade away from the reigning MVP. That makes zero sense to me. Not only that, but I look at all the teammates he's played with. James has probably played with more Hall of Famers than anyone in the league, and he doesn't have a ring to show for it. I don't know what he's looking for, and maybe there's some internal expletive that is going on that we don't know about. Because it doesn't make any sense to me to leave the MVP in the Eastern Conference where he was shot to at least play for a championship, it's got to be something deeper than what you know. Get over it, man. So yes, uh, James Harden has basically requested three trades in a very short period of time. First Houston, then Brooklyn, now Philadelphia. Who knows? Maybe he's in the latter part of his career trying to break Ishmith's record for most teams played on. Who knows? Um, and then at the end of the interview, Adam Silver keeps hinting that expansion is coming. Where would you put two new teams? I've heard that for the last three years. That was going to be an expansion team out here in Las Vegas. I heard that LeBron James is going to be the owner of that. It's his team. I heard it through league channels. That's not really something that's been rumored. And let me say, get well, Bronny James. Definitely an awful situation uh, with him. But the LeBron James thing, I really haven't heard anything about him being the owner of Las Vegas. Maybe McGrady's in the know with that. Uh, but last thing I want to share, Patrick Beverly on Tracy McGrady versus Kobe. So this was on Patrick Beverly's podcast. Short listen. If you win a championship, you're in that conversation with Kobe. Like, like, like without a doubt. Like, without a doubt. And if someone says different, I'm, I'm going to fight to the end of the bone, like, Y'all, y'all don't know basketball. That was a conversation of who was the best players in the league. It was it was me and Kobe of a barbershop talking around the league. Real hoopers, real basketball people know. 
if you win a champ interesting thoughts there by mcgrady um and i know patrick beverly mentioned if you win a championship you're in that conversation with kobe well the problem is Tracy McGrady never came close to winning a championship when he was really playing because he famously never won a round in the postseason until his last season with the Spurs in 2013. He didn't even play in that regular season. He joined the team in the postseason. They made it to the NBA Finals, lost to the Heat, uh, but he played, I think, Six games in that postseason, 31 minutes, didn't even score one point. Uh, That's the only time he ever got out of the first round of the playoffs. So, I mean, to say if you won a championship, I mean, as if he came close numerous times. And I like Tracy McGrady. I do. One of the most fun players to watch in the 2000s. Um, You know, maybe some people did debate him and Kobe. But to be honest, um, now when you look at it, um, nobody's even putting Tracy McGrady in the same stratosphere as Kobe. Uh, Kobe, many see as top 10 all time, and McGrady uh, didn't even make the 75th anniversary team. Not to my knowledge. I don't think he did. But anyhow, what are your thoughts on some of the things McGrady had to say? Again, second Hall of Fame player to mention Bol Bol and Victor Wembenyama together. Uh doesn't understand why James Harden's requesting another trade. Saying LeBron James is going to be the owner of Las Vegas' team uh, when NBA goes to expansion and then comparing himself to Kobe. Anyhow, don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend to subscribe. Like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications. I'm